Okay, so tonight we're going to be here talking about Asian problems and Asian tips. You want to be careful and spray a little like this, but if it goes in there and eats that membrane up in there, you're going to need a $300 plus dollar unit. And you're going to need the scan tool that can do the adaptation or you ain't going anywhere. And Nissan's, Infiniti, Volkswagen, Audi, Volvo, they're all pains in the asses. What's the most important PID on a scan tool at idle to look at with an electronic EGR? Position. Position. position, very good. Pintle position, which should be what at idle? Zero. 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 That a monitor is uh, going to fail something, but it's also good if a monitor won't run. An example, if this is real close to failing or in the failing, and you're trying to get that monitor ready, it ain't gonna go. Why? It wants to see it somewhere in this green. I'll give you another one that I've seen on a lot of Mode 6 stuff. If it's too close to the very lowest number, it goes, this may not be right. Why? It's too and good. We're looking at the valve here, okay? When we see where this lines up with this, can you see a difference here? Real quick, look at the timing belt. By the way, when you're on a timing chain, have you seen a whole bunch of these? There's not enough time to get into that tonight. But this is pretty easy to do. It's a matter of, and you'll see Pierre, if you, you actually do that on the engine one. We did this on a car, didn't practice. He unscrewed the spark plug. He screwed this thing in. We cranked it over, and it, it, it was what it was. Up and down. That tells me that cat is shot. The fix for this car was actually replacing not one cat that the aftermarket wanted to sell you one cat. The dealer only sells it in a set, the front and rear cat. And you look at it, they have a cat, but their O2 sensor is before the very rear cat. And you would go, well, oh, you don't need that rear cat. There's nothing testing it. Yes, you do. That changes the algorithms that they're looking for. So if you don't put that rear one in, when did a manufacturer want to give you something so expensive on a car with rhodium, platinum, palladium in it because they didn't need it? They're not going to do that. It's there for a reason. And you need to know when you're working on some of these cars, the tough ones, the Nissan, the Subarus, right, and the Toyota, you better be knowing what cat you're going to replace it with. Okay. Gee, those, those Ultimas mid-2000s had issues with the cats, and they were recalled by Nissan because they said they were damaging the engine. Yeah. Right. In fact, we just, by the way, they have a lot of damage in the engine. They also have some EGR issues. Damage in the engine, burning oil like there's no tomorrow, and it'll give you a new motor for unbelievable cheap price. Some they give you for free, and some you can buy these engines quite cheap. Very good, Frank. So yes, they are doing some engine stuff there and had a lot of catalytic converter problems. Also, I should remind you, always look at TSBs and programming updates. There's a lot well, on it. What happens over time, their system, something degrades where it gets to the point, oh my God, we're going to start showing misfires. We didn't think of that back then. <coughs> so what do they do? No different than Mr. Gates, right? Is Windows perfect? Far from it. It always comes... I don't know about you, but I'm always getting new updates. They're always trying to fix something they screwed up on. Well, car companies are no difference nowadays, are they? So guess what? You go through here, and basically this reflash is telling you how to fix it. Here's how to do this. And by the way, if you own a J2534 box, Hyundai Kia is free. You get this for free and get to charge your customer. And you're doing them a good service. So Craig went through it. He types his information in, goes in, goes to the website, he looks for the, the TSB information, gets the link, downloads all the junk on his computer, <coughs> follows the steps, it tells you all of the stuff, you know, do not run any other programs, gives you all the warnings. You follow directions, you read, simple. Don't follow directions, have virus protection running, oh well, you got trouble, okay? You, you'll, be, you'll be screaming at yourself later. Use a battery maintainer. They tell you to do it and make sure you Plus use it's not one. hard. But if you don't follow directions, it gets real hard. Okay? So he goes through, make a long story short, he fixes it. 
Here I think is about one of the last ones, a, uh, a, a Kia Sedona that comes in, fuel trim, a negative 19 on both banks at idle only. Volumetric efficiency problem, MAF sensor voltage at idle was 0.9 volts when it was supposed to be 1.9. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>